We're going to explain how to skip those pesky browser warnings when using Ingrok in your terminal. It's a common issue, and thankfully there's a straightforward solution. The warnings usually pop up because Ingrok uses a self-signed SSL certificate, which browsers flag as potentially unsafe. However, we're working locally, so we can generally bypass this. The exact method depends a little on your operating system and browser, but here's how to handle it. 1. Understanding the warning. The warning typically appears when you try to access your Ngrok URL in a browser. It'll say something about an untrusted connection or a self-signed certificate. This isn't necessarily a security vulnerability if you're using Ngrok for local development and testing, but it's understandably alarming. 2. That the host header option, recommended. The best approach is to use the host header option with the Ngrok command itself. This tells Ngrok to include a specific header in its requests, often solving the issue. For instance, if your local development server runs on localhost 3000, you'd start Ngrok like this. Ngrok HTTP, host header, localhost, 3000 inches, 3000. This approach avoids the warning by making the browser believe the request is coming from a trusted source. 3. Temporarily adding the certificate exception, less recommended. If the host header option doesn't work for some reason or your setup is more complex, you can temporarily add an exception for the Ungrok certificate in your browser. The exact steps vary between browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, etc., but generally involve navigating to the advanced settings, security, or SSL settings. You'll find an option to add an exception for the specific Ungrok URL. Note that this should be considered a temporary workaround and ideally should be replaced by the host header method whenever possible. This solution is less preferred because you have to repeat this step every time Ngrok generates a new URL. It's more prone to error and isn't as secure as the previous method. 4. Checking your Ngrok version. Make sure you're using a relatively up-to-date version of Ngrok. Newer versions often incorporate improvements that mitigate these types of issues. You can update using the instructions provided on the official Ngrok website. 5. Troubleshooting. If you still experience the warning even after trying these steps, double-check your Ngrok configuration. Confirm that the port number you are specifying in your Ngrok command matches the port your local server is listening on. Sometimes small typos can cause these issues. Also, be sure that your firewall isn't blocking Ngrok from accessing the internet. Remember, prioritizing the her host header method is crucial. It directly addresses the root cause of the warning in a cleaner and safer way than manually adding certificate exceptions. Always be cautious when dealing with security warnings, but understand the context of your local development environment.